So um, as you all know, airlines are bemoaning um, some staffing shortages on the ground. It's, you know, it's the shitty jobs that are typically outsourced and, you know, low wage jobs nobody wants. Well, you know, like aircraft cleaners and wheelchair pushers, those those jobs. And they're having a hard time adequately staffing all of those positions, which led me to yet another brilliant Grumpy Stew idea. All right, hear me out. You know which group of people could really use a steady job? And they'll do anything, literally anything for a a check. No job is too shitty for these people. Nonviolent registered sex offenders. Hey, hey, I said nonviolent. We're talking about, you know, guys that got busted for a dick prank gone wrong or, you know, like maybe flashing grandma in the park or something like that. Nonviolent. These are people that are just, they're just full of love. They're just so full of love they can't help get some of it on you. And who else would be more than happy to help Grandma swing by the ladies' room on the way to the next gate? Hell, it'd probably make her day. God knows she hasn't had any action in a couple of decades. It's a perfect match. Or if the the idea of nonviolent registered perverts doesn't quite resonate, if you don't like that idea, I've I, I got another one. How about this? Children. Not, not the little ones, like 11, 14 year olds, you know, not quite legal to work. So you can get around the minimum wage and other regulations, money saving idea. And, and it's about time these little freeloaders start paying their way. You know what I mean? And they'd be perfect for cleaning planes. They're small. They can get into, you know, those cramped spaces, really get in there and do the detail work. The planes would never be cleaner. Just keep them away from the pervert wheelchair pushers. Do you ever feel less than fresh? Has your hookup last night left you with a painful rectal itch that you just can't reach? Well, now there's Summer's Eve for him. The only daily douche product specifically designed for men. Available in three flavors, cream pie, chocolate mousse, and lemon tart. Bring new meaning to the phrase, he's a little salty. Summer's Eve for him. Available now. So, as most of you have probably heard, a lady was kicked off of a flight for attempting to breastfeed a cat. Details are a little sparse, but from what I've been able to gather and piece together, it wasn't, you know, literal breastfeeding. Like, I don't think she got, you know, the cat to latch or or anything. It's just the whole thing is ridiculous. I don't think she got the cat to latch. (laughs) It just cracks me up thinking about it. But, um... Oh, here's a funny detail, though. (laughs) The cat was one of those creepy, hairless breeds that looks like a little pissed-off alien. (laughs) Oh, God. And she had it all swaddled up in a blanket like a baby. Oh, I can't stop laughing. But uh, from what I understand, another passenger approached the crew complaining about this woman breastfeeding. And and the crew's like, hey, you know, breastfeeding is okay. We don't shame people for breastfeeding. Etc. But you know, of course, the pastor left out the detail that it was a, <laughs> it was a hairless cat that was <laughs> being abused by this poor woman, and <laughs> so so the crew goes over there to check it out, and sure as shit, there's grandma trying to breastfeed a cat, saggy old tits just flapping in the breeze. The crew's like, uh, first of all, that cat needs to be in the carrier and under a seat. Oh God. Ugh. One, one of the rumors I've heard was the lady rubbed butter on her nipples so the cat would lick it off. I also heard that the cat was howling for dear life. I mean, I guess he just wasn't into nipple play. I, I don't know. Oh, God, the whole thing is just so absurd. I'm crying. Oh, God. All right, obviously, the cat lady was asked to leave, and it, and it made the fucking news. And apparently this wasn't the first time something like this happened. It appears there was a similar incident a few years ago. Like, is breastfeeding cats a thing? What the fuck? This immediately has my comedic mind thinking of new consumer products for breastfeeding cats. Kitty on a titty. Cat nips. Knockers and pussies. Tits for cats. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Imagine how chapped that lady's tits have to be. <laughs> I mean, cat teeth are sharp. Knockers and pussies. Th- I mean, 
That would be a good name for a lesbian bar. You, you know, there was a restaurant in Vegas called The Pink Taco. I think I mentioned this before. I, I don't know if it's still there. But I've often said someone should put a gay bar right next to it and call it The Spotted Dick. Or cocktails. Two words, cock and tails. M- the mouthful. I could probably spend all day coming up with puns for bars and restaurants. Sausage Fest. Evidently, I found a hidden talent, puns for gay bars. One of these days, I want to open a place and call it HSIOW. Holy shit, it's only Wednesday. Totally stole that idea from George Carlin. But I think he's right. People would drink more if they thought it was Wednesday all the time. Oh, God. <laughs> 